Hey yo, what up everyone? Before we jump into this tier list, I want to talk about two important changes when it comes to shotgun gameplay. First of all, with the addition of unlimited headshot range, slugs have become significantly better, since they now will be able to one-shot kill at any distance or at least in theory. Shotguns, like all other weapons, also have to deal with bullet drop. It is much more simple though. Medium barrels like the Rivals, Slate and Terminus and the Spectre Bayonet have a drop starting point at 25 meters, while the long barrel shotguns like the Auto 5, formerly known as Crowning King, the full size Spectre and the Romero variants have a drop starting point of 30 meters. This change only affects slugs since all other ammo types have too much spread to make any use of this. Yes, even flechette ammo. I have tested it very, very intensely. And one shot ranges on pellet based on ammo types are unchanged. I tested slugs a lot and I can assure you that headshots at 40 to 50 meters are not unrealistic. Medium barrel shotguns with slugs one tap to the chest up to 12 meters, while long barrel shotguns with slugs one tap up to 15 meters to the chest. Sadly, Crytek was totally aware that slugs might become meta, and they have added an RNG mechanics to the slug and the nitro, which makes shots not always hit accurately, aka you will occasionally miss a shot at longer ranges even though you aimed it perfectly. This doesn't really make a difference in close quarter combat, but still makes slugs highly viable and gives slugs its own niche. Let's talk about all ammo types before I show you guys how I ranked all the shotguns. In my opinion, the best ammo types are either Buckshot aka default ammo due to its very reliable one-tap range and its ability to accurately hit shots while being mid-air. Like you would have guessed, the second ammo type which I can highly recommend are slugs due to the new unlimited headshot range, which can come in handy in a lot of scenarios. Penny Shot on the other hand seemed highly nerfed on test server and it usually performed much worse than Buckshot. Seems like they have increased the spread on Penny Shot significantly or maybe I was just very unlucky. The Shed is a great support ammo type, but in my opinion, not very viable since you highly decrease your one tap potential, which is the whole point of playing shotguns. Very viable in team play if you want to be a support player though. The exact same goes for Dragon Bears, both ammo types are viable, but more of a meme support kind of ammo. Starshell has no purpose since Dragon Bears also ignites hunters, while still being somewhat viable in PvP scenarios. In my opinion, quite useful in 50 50 Romero loadouts to free a tool slot, for example. Before jumping into the tier list, I want to say that for me, one of the most important stats when playing shotguns is fire rate and not one shot range. Shotgun one shot body hit ranges are fairly similar and only differ by a few meters, and thus often barely make any difference when you land a kill. What I'm trying to say is that every shotgun feels amazing when you kill somebody with the very first shot and can lead you to victory. The difference for me is, what can I do when I slightly miss my shot, miss completely or for whatever reason my shot didn't kill. That is when fire rate becomes very important to me and it's a game changer especially when fighting multiple opponents. In close quarter combat milliseconds matter a lot and can decide if you win or lose a fight. Having to video the Romero or being able to shoot twice with a rival can suddenly decide between life or death. I will show you my entire tier list so you guys can jump to the chapters that matter to you and we will start from the bottom to the top. The first weapon in the tier list is the bomb lens. While it technically is not a shotgun, it still can be compared to one. In combination with steel bolts, it functions like one, but due to the very slow reload speed, it lands in the E tier by itself. For anyone who doesn't know steel bolts, is a special ammo type for the bomb lens, which shoots a barrage of steel bolts out of your bomb lens instead of a bomb lens stick, which performs just like a shotgun but without any penetration power. In the D tier, I will upset a lot of people. But the Romero with all its variants will end up this low in my tier list and even though I personally am a great fan of the Romero and quite often run it myself and have wiped entire lobbies with it, sadly, like I said already, due to it being a single shot, it will punish you every time you do not land a kill. I'm aware that the Alamo technically reshambles, but it still fires very slow and thus all of them will be placed into the D tier. It's even with a long one shot range, it is also one of the most punishing weapons since missing one shot can quite literally decide the match. Moving into the C tier, we have two shotguns. The first one is the Spectre Bayonet, which has a higher pellet spread due to it being a medium length barrel and thus having a less reliable one shot range than the full size Spectre while also having a fairly slow fire rate. The one tap range technically is the same 
as a full size spectre, it is 14 meters, but due to a much higher pellet spread it is quite unlikely unless you win the hunt showdown lottery. It being a medium length barrel shotgun, it also means that the bullet drop starts at 25 and not at 30 meters like on the full sized spectre, and thus it is landing in the seat here. The second shotgun in the seat here is the terminus and anybody who has paid attention has seen that the terminus is also in the S tier at the same time. This is intended, let me explain. The terminus is a power creep shotgun. By itself it is a medium barrel length shotgun and has a one shot range of roughly 13 meters with a fairly slow fire rate especially in comparison to the shotguns inside the B to the S tier. The terminus becomes significantly better once you combine it with levering, thus it is also inside the S tier which I will talk about later. The B tier consists of two shotguns, the full size Spectre and the Slate. Spectre is a long barreled shotgun which gives it a buckshot, one tap range of up to 14 meters, very tight pellet spread and a drop range of 30 meters which comes in very handy in combination with slugs. Sadly, it does require a bullet grubber to be fully reloaded and has a fairly slow fire rate in comparison to the other B tier shotguns. It is a pump action which sadly limits its fire rate. The Slate is a higher fire rate but medium length counterpart to the Spectre, has a one tap range of up to 13 meters and while it outclasses the Spectre in fire rate, it sadly loses in one tap and drop range. Which is why they are both in the same category for me. Yes, the Slate has a higher fire rate but it is still a pump action shotgun which is still too slow to rank it any higher than the B tier. In the A tier we only have the rival. The rival can shoot two shotgun shots in a row before you have to reload or interact with any kind of rechambering mechanism. Which is why I ranked it this highly. You can often secure a kill before your enemy can react and even when the first shot didn't kill or missed entirely. It has a one shot range of up to 13 meters with buckshot and a drop starting range of 25 meters. But due to its two shot mechanic, it can fairly easily land two taps with slugs when needed. Now we do have a controversial pick, the crossbow. The crossbow. While it goes completely against my fire rate rule, it felt wrong to rank the crossbow with both its variants any lower than that. The crossbow got its one tap range increase from 32.5 all the way to 35 meters to the chest with normal bolts and is the king of utility while also applying intense bleeding. Steel bolts, one taps to the chest up to 26 meters while flying faster which results in much less drop. The explosive bolts being a grenade launcher and shot bolts being the only ammo type in the entire game that can potentially one shot to the chest at any distance. It is technically a medieval shotgun that outcasts every other shotgun in one tap range by more than double and thus I placed it in between the A and the S tier. The only reason I did not place it into the S tier is it being a one shot reload kind of weapon which means it can easily perform much worse in actual close quarter combat when fighting other shotguns and thus did make it completely into the S tier. In the S tier we have the Auto 5 formerly known as the Crowning King which is a semi-automatic long barrel shotgun with a 5 bullet magazine size and can wipe entire teams within seconds. It has a one tap range of up to 13 meters with buckshot but due to its very high fire rate can easily secure kills past that range when needed. With slugs it can be played like a rifle, especially if you consider the drop range of 30 meters. I have a strong feeling that a lot of people will use the Auto 5 like a rifle in combination with slugs. The Crown can do things no other shotguns can do and thus deserves to be in the S tier. The second shotgun in the S tier is a Terminus in combination with levering. It has a similar fire rate to the Auto 5 when combined with levering while having two extra bullets to be shambled. While I do not recommend using slugs on this weapon, while it is still viable, it is the strongest buckshot shotgun in the entire game due to its high magazine capacity and will often allow you to change the outcome of an entire game within seconds by taking out multiple opponents within seconds and thus also is an ST weapon. This was it with my shotgun tier list, I hope this tier list helps you to decide which shotgun you prefer and I will talk to you guys next time.